hello loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and today we are going to be packing. It's going to be a little bit different of a video. I wanted to do like a pack with me video. We are headed off to Hawaii for like three and a half weeks and we leave in like two days so I thought it'd be fun to like show you guys my process of packing and like how I pack <laughs> and I feel like I've really gotten it down to a system because whenever we travel it's like for three or four weeks or even longer sometimes so I feel like I've just like figured it out you know so I thought I would take you through my packing process and like how I pack so without further ado let's pack for Oahu I am so excited I literally have a hair mask in my hair I have self tanner on and we are going to pack Let's do this. Packing starts now. So before we get packing, I wanted to share like a little tip. Something that I do is I like to start with the more difficult things to pack, like toiletries, cosmetics, and get that out of the way, and then move to the more easy things. So that way I know I didn't forget anything that's super important, certain clothes, certain toiletries, get that done first and then continue on. So the first thing we're gonna pack is cosmetics and like toiletries. Now I just came from Utah, so most of them are already together, but my main thing with going to Hawaii is I try not to wear a lot of makeup, try not to use a lot of products. I just try to like keep it very simple and not bring a lot of stuff with me. So I'm gonna try to do that today and just minimize my cosmetic and toiletry bag as much as possible. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna pack is my skincare. I'm gonna be bringing all of my Sonia Dakar products because I know my skin is already used to them. It's already been used to that routine and I know this will work really well in the humidity. And I'm just gonna put them into a little plastic bag so that way nothing leaks when I travel. Face sunscreen, the most important thing. Gotta have my deodorant, of course. And the best thing ever is some blemish buster. And then I actually have some samples of a mask, so I'm just gonna throw these in there. Then I don't need to bring a jar of a mask. That's actually a big tip. Whenever you get a sample of something, save them so that way when you travel, you already have like little sizes you can bring. And just like that, my skincare is packed and ready to go. Next, we're gonna pack my makeup. Now, I'm gonna try to keep this, again, very, very simplistic because when I'm there, it's so humid and I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup in general, which is why I actually got my eyelash extensions back on so that way I don't have to wear a lot of makeup. So I'm gonna try to keep Keep my makeup down to a minimum and like I said I just came from Utah so some of it is already in the bag so now I'm just gonna like finalize my makeup bag and get that all ready to go see again sample sizes they are the best thing ever so with my makeup brushes I won't need a ton so I'm just gonna bring only the necessities that I need and I like to put them in their own little bag because they all stay together it stays clean and it helps me stay organized when I travel travel size This is a must for Hawaii. I can already tell you, it helps so much that it was already like pre-done. <laughs> Normally it takes me a lot longer than this. So in my office and room, I keep all of these drawers full of products. And in here I have like travel size stuff and things like sunscreen. So I'm just gonna go through here and see if there's any cosmetics that I need, like a darker foundation, any more sunscreen, anything like that that wasn't in my main toiletry area, uh, in my main bathroom. So just gonna quickly do that. The last thing I'm going to do is quickly put together my hair products. And again, I'm gonna keep it very minimal and just only bring the necessities that I need with me. Most of the time, I'll just let my hair be air drying, so I'm just gonna bring really good products that I want to keep my hair healthy while I'm in the sun. Please do not judge how messy these cabinets are. My whole goal when I get back from Hawaii is to organize my whole life as well as these cabinets and all the beauty products because don't judge me. I swear more than anything, packing is just more of a game of Tetris to see how you can get things to fit. And I actually got all my hair products to lay flat. So I have my Davines, I have my Whey, and I have my Olaplex toiletries done. So the next thing we're going to do is pack some sunscreens and sunless tanner. I've already kind of started packing the sunscreens. So in here I have my sun balm. I have one of their tinted sunscreens. I have the Kula face spray that's SPF 30. And then the last thing I have in here is my Maui Babe Browning Lotion, and I have a chapstick with SPF, and a stick for Sawyer's face because he always burns his nose and under his eyes. So that is all of my sunscreen. So I just went through and kind of picked the sunless tanners that I wanted to bring. So the first thing I'm gonna bring is the Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream, and it actually has instant color in here, so I just wanted to have that because sometimes I just want something that'll already make me look dark. I actually just received this, so I wanted to bring it with me. It's the Way After Sun Body Soother, and I thought this would be perfect because I always burn like the first couple days. I'm going to bring the Naked Skin for my face. 
I'm going to bring the Loving Tan Mousse for my body. And you might be wondering, why are you bringing Sunless Tanner? I just wanna have something on hand that I can either smooth out the color, make it look more even, cover up like spider veins, all those like fun stuff. So I just like to have it on hand. The last thing I'm gonna bring is the Kopari Coconut Oil with the glitter in here because I thought it'd be really pretty just to have that on and just be really nice and glowy and golden. <laughs> Ooh, and even better, I just found a travel size of the Kopari, so I don't need to bring the big bottles. And that's it. That is all the sunscreen and tanning lotion I will be bringing. So the next step in my packing process is to go through my closet and I actually pull out anything that I might want to bring on the trip and then I narrow it down from there. So that way I can see all my options out in front of me that I will want to bring to Hawaii and then I narrow it down to the most necessary things and the outfits that I want to bring. Let's start doing it. <laughs> oh, and a closet clean out is coming soon. Like, I can't even fit anything else in here if I wanted to. I actually have another clothing rack out there yeah, that needs to go. <laughs> I need to get rid of some clothes. So let's start pulling some clothes for this trip. But do know that a how to organize your closet video is coming because I gotta do that. <laughs> This kind of seems tedious, but it really helps me to see everything that I would want to bring, and then I can just pick like the best options for this trip. Continuing on. We're gonna have to switch to the other side of the closet now. See, I told you there was a clothing rack out here, and there are a few options out here, so I am just going to pull those real quick, and we'll continue packing. More options. <laughs> now for packing some purses. I don't like to bring a big handbag to Hawaii because we're always at the beach, there's sunscreen, there's, you know, tons of like tanning lotions. I just like to have a good bag and I like to bring three different options. So the first option I'm going to bring is my little fanny pack with a little card holder. I will actually just make this my wallet while I'm there. So for running errands, going to the beach, I can just put it in my bag. It'll fit in the fanny pack and it's just super easy. I can throw this in the beach bag. It's just kind of like a perfect little fanny pack. The second handbag I'm going to bring is this little furla bag. I just like that it is small, it's a little crossbody, and it's perfect if we end up going out to dinner or somewhere a little nicer. This will not get harmed in the crossing of tanning oils. <laughs> and the last bag is going to be my little Louis backpack. I travel with this so much, it's just basically like my travel backpack, and it's perfect for the beach, it's perfect for Hawaii. It doubles as a beach bag if needed. I honestly just love this bag for travel, so it's definitely coming with me. All right, well we have made it to packing hats and hair accessories. I am going to try to not tan my face very much while I'm in Hawaii, so I am gonna be wearing a lot of hats to hide my face because I have been seeing Sonia Dakar and she's been helping me get my face back on track and heal my acne and help with hyperpigmentation. So the last thing I wanna do is ruin all that by tanning in the sun without a hat. So my body can get tan, but my face is gonna have sunscreen and a hat. So. That being said, we're gonna bring a lot of straw hats with me so we have tons of options while we are there. Let's pack some hats. One hat, two, three, four, five. We're not done yet. We're gonna bring a baseball cap, cute little hat that has a missing top so I can wear my big messy bun out of it. So it's kind of like a visor. And then the 10th hat will be straw hat with pink and black woven. And never mind, I have one more. The 11th hat will be this beautiful hat, and it is a straw hat, and that is it. Those are all the hats I'm bringing. That's a lot, but we are there a long time, and I wanna have all the options to protect my face. Because I don't wanna burn my face. I just got rid of all my problems. I don't want to get them back. All right, now we're gonna go through my scarves and pull aside some for my hair just to bring, because I like to mix up and wrap scarves around my messy buns, around my neck, and I just think they're a great thing when traveling to like mix up your outfit, especially when you're gone so long. You can only bring so many outfits. So let's go through the scarves now. I'm gonna bring a few hair scrunchie as well, just to like tie around either a ponytail or to do a messy bun with, just to make it easy. So the way that Sawyer and I's apartment is set up, I have my own office and in here I have my closet, I have all my beauty stuff. It's just kind of like my space, my area. So now that I have pulled all this stuff, I'm going to move it to our room and actually pack in there so I can plan out my outfits and I can organize my suitcase. So the next step is to take all this stuff and go pack it into my suitcase in the other room. Guys, we're getting there. We are almost packed for Hawaii. Ah! So 
everything has been moved to our room and basically now that it's on a clothing rack I will be able to organize and plan out the outfits so that is going to be next and then from there we will do swimsuits so I'm gonna quickly plan out these outfits Had to pause for a coffee break. <sighs> it's a lot to do. I've like try to figure out what you want to wear for the next three weeks. I have no idea. Yes, I always recommend trying on outfits, especially new ones, before you just take them with you on a trip because you want to make sure they fit properly and it's like what you want to wear on your trip. Because so many times I've gotten there and I'm like, why'd I bring this? So try it on before you go. So we have made it to the part where we are going to pack swimsuits. Now, this bin is such a mess. It's been on my to-do list to organize. So like I said, that closet organization is coming soon. In here, I have a bin of swimsuits. I'm gonna quickly go through these, pick my favorites, and then from there, I'm gonna put them in a baggie so that way they are organized in my suitcase and I know exactly where everything is the swimsuit will be in the bag. Oh my god, I so need to go through these swimsuits. The fact I don't want to bring this whole pile over here means I need to get rid of some. All right, surprising, this is narrowed down. So now I'm gonna go back through and put the ones that I want in a baggie so I can pack them. Okay, I have narrowed it down to about 11 swimsuits and they're all in baggies so that way it's super easy. Swimsuits done. The next thing I'm going to do is pack my jewelry and I honestly don't know the name of this jewelry box. It is the best thing that I have ever received in my life. If anyone knows the name of this brand, it looks like a heart, maybe like Lucky Heart, Four Leaf Heart. I don't know, it's like a little charm like this. If you know, let me know because this box is amazing. You can put your necklaces, then your rings, and you have spots for like bracelets and big earrings. So this is the best travel jewelry box I've ever come across. How is there not a tag? I'm really not gonna bring a lot of jewelry. So I'm just gonna bring some statement earrings, some bracelets, and a few rings and necklaces. And just like that, my jewelry is all packed. So next we have shoes. I'm gonna keep it very simple since it is Hawaii and I'll pretty much just be at the beach. I'm just gonna bring a neutral pair of sandals, a white pair of like foam Birkenstocks because they're really, really light. I have like a black pair with like little buckles on it. And then I'm gonna bring these neutral pair of loafers. They're really soft, really light. They have pink tones in them so they'll match most of my outfits. And it's a little bit nicer if I don't want to wear like a Birkenstock style. And then the last thing is a pair of workout shoes and a pair of just neutral tennis shoes just to wear around and on the plane. Okay, so we have finally made it to the part where I actually filled my suitcase. Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> Packing always takes me so much longer than I think and then filming it on top of it. Anyways, it is time to fill the suitcase. I don't leave for two more days, so I still have time to like finalize the packing, but it feels really nice to be on top of it and already have things going into the suitcase and have it already like planned out and ready to go. So let's fill it and see how we did. In this top pocket is where I like to put all my swimsuits so that way they have a designated spot in my suitcase. I've told you guys about this before, but I really like packing and packing squares for things that are loose. So in here I have all of my workout gear because I feel like workout gear just slides around. It's just so slippery. So I like having it in a packing square so that way I can just like put it in there and I know that everything isn't gonna fall out of place. And same thing, I have my scarves in here so that way scarves aren't all over the place. They're all in one spot and it looks way more organized in your suitcase. Another little tip when packing hats, I did narrow down my hats a little bit. I kind of went a little crazy earlier, but after seeing what outfits I had, I planned it accordingly. So with these hats, what I recommend doing, so that way they don't get smushed, is when you are packing your suitcase, actually build a hole, like build a spot for the hats upside down. So put them in like this, and then you can fill this with like your jewelry, socks, underwear, whatever you want. You can fill the hats 
and basically just fill around it and protect your hats. It'll make your life so much easier by not carrying hats on the plane or opening up your suitcase and going, oh my gosh, I ruined all my hats. Don't do that. Protect your hats, put them in upside down. Remember how I said packing is like Tetris? It literally is. You just wanna move things around till everything goes in and then you are all done and you can close your suitcase. Guys, we did it. We packed for Hawaii. I'm very happy I got it done early. I'm very happy I shared it with you. It is quite a process. I honestly just look at packing as going for a very long sleepover. Just make sure you have the necessities and you can get anything else that you need wherever you are. Just have your necessities. So now that my main suitcase is packed, all I have to do is pack my carry-on, and that is gonna be very, very simple. Um, I've already filmed that process, so I will link that video down below if you guys are curious how I pack my carry-on and what I bring in my carry-on. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed packing with me. I am so excited to go to Hawaii, and we will be sharing that adventure as well. But that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!